Um, I'm Reina Casados. I'm a sophomore. Uh, the advice I would give a freshman would be to take advantage of the 25 minutes of lunch since they go by flying. Um, the first day of lunch that I had here at East Week, it felt like I had no time to eat. I would also take advantage of the first week that you come into high school and get to know the school since it is big and you could get lost. The thing I like the best about East Wake High School would be about the programs that they have and all the clubs that they have. I am in student council and I really recommend student council. My name is Ariana. I'm a rising senior this year. Some advice I would give to freshmen is to be involved. Uh, get to know the school, ask questions, don't be scared to ask questions. It's okay if you're lost. Um, ask somebody that's in an upper class than you. Um, just be who you are. Don't like let anyone change who you are. Um, I would say as a cheerleader, I run track. Just be involved. Sports, um, that's where you get to meet more people. Clubs as well. Just be involved in my favorite part about this school is just the community um, and people around getting them, yeah, and teachers. Hi, I'm Logan White and I will be a junior this year and my advice to the freshmen would be that freshman year is really your foundation year. Um, make a lot of friends. Don't be scared to ask for directions. Everybody gets lost. It's a part of freshman year. Um, I would say my favorite part of this school is health science. Um, that route is so much fun. I really suggest doing that. And just get to know everybody and get to know your teachers and you'll have fun. At school, I'm also involved in a bunch of clubs. I'm involved in student council, fellowship of Christian athletes, HOSA, cheerleading, and yeah, I love the extracurriculars here. They give you something to do, not just that, they give you connections and friends and you make a lot of cool friends doing extracurriculars. Hi, I'm Emily Shelton. I'm a junior, and my favorite thing about East Wake is probably their health science program. Um, it's given me the opportunity to really grow my knowledge, um, and it's given me a path to go on in the future. And an advice I would give is take advantage of all the clubs. I made that mistake my sophomore or my freshman year not doing clubs, but um, sophomore year I joined more, and it was a lot more fun. Some of my favorite things are um, the football games. The homecoming football game was um, really fun. I love all the themes. There's like Hawaii now, Pink Out, um, and then homecoming you wear the school colors, which is just really fun. Um, the atmosphere of the student section just really makes the football games.
Hi Warriors of East Wake High School. This video tutorial is designed to show students how to access the Wake Connect portal using their Wake ID. All students enrolled in Wake County Schools will begin the school year in remote learning. Therefore, you will need to access your Wake Connect account to check assignments, submit assignments, communicate with your teachers, send email, and also check your grades and attendance. The first step we'll need to do is to open an internet browser. You can use Internet Explorer or you can use Google Chrome. I will be using Google Chrome today. Once your browser is open, you will need to click in the URL field and simply type wakeid.wcpss.net and then strike the enter key. Once that's done, that's going to bring you to the login page. Next, you'll go to the field that says select user type. Click there, and there will be two choices, staff or student. You are a student, so you will choose student. I'm a staff member at East Wake High School, so I would choose staff today for this demonstration. In the next field, it asks for your Wake ID. Now, your Wake ID is connected to your name, first, middle, and last. We'll use an example for first, middle, and last first. So if my name was John Edward Smith, I would simply type J E Smith. And this is case sensitive, so you will need to use all lowercase letters. If my name was John Smith, no middle name, I would type J. Smith and then I will click continue to log in. We'll use mine again for demonstration purposes on today. Okay, that is my username so I will go and click continue to log in and this will bring up the page for your password. Now your password should be your lunch number or your student ID which is the same number. If you don't have access to that please contact one of your teachers or one of our media specialists and they can supply that information for you. Once you have that, simply type it in and then you would strike continue to log in. Now this little icon here is an eyeball. If you actually want to see what you're typing, you can click there and it will actually show you. But for security purposes today, I will not click on that. Okay, I have my password entered. So now I'm going to click continue to log in. Once I've done that, all of the apps that are available to you will be shown. Now there are three or four that you will use. You will use email to communicate with your teachers, Google Drive that houses all of your assignments, Canvas that houses your assignments that are assigned by your teacher, and that is where you upload your work for grading as well. And PowerSchool is used to check your grades and your attendance. Again, if you do not have access to your password or your username, you can check with your teachers or you can check with one of our media staff and they will provide you with your login credentials. Thank you so much. In this video, you will learn about your Canvas dashboard and global navigation links. You'll also learn about navigating a course and accessing assignments. When you log into Canvas, the first thing you see is the dashboard. It provides a high-level overview of your current courses. You may be able to select from three different viewing options. Card View displays a course card for each of your favorite courses. Each card can include clickable icons for assignments, announcements, discussions, and files. List view displays all course to-do items in an agenda view to help you easily manage tasks across all of your courses. List view opens to the current date. You can scroll up and down on the page to view past or future items. The last dashboard view is recent activity. 
which displays a stream of recent notifications from all your courses, including announcements, conversations, assignments, discussions, and peer reviews. Canvas displays a global navigation menu that gives you direct access to your courses and other areas of Canvas. From the account link, you can modify your user settings, specify your notification preferences, upload personal files, manage ePortfolios, and log out of Canvas. Click the Dashboard link to return to the Canvas dashboard at any time. Click the Courses link to quickly access your favorite courses and to view a list of all your courses. Click the Groups link to access any current groups in which you are enrolled or to view a list of all your groups. Click the Calendar link to view your personal calendar and course calendars. Click the Inbox link to view and send conversations to your instructors and peers within Canvas. And finally, click the Help link to access help resources for your institution. Now let's take a look at the course interface. Click the Courses link, and then click the name of the course you want to visit. Canvas automatically opens courses to the course homepage set by your instructor. The course interface consists of four main components. Course content displays in the content area. You can use the course navigation links, breadcrumb navigation, or the sidebar to navigate to different areas of the course. The course homepage sidebar includes a to-do list displaying items that you need to do in your course. You can click any assignment name to view the assignment. And to submit the assignment, click the Submit Assignment button. Return to the course homepage by clicking the Home link in Course Navigation or the course name in Breadcrumb Navigation. If your course includes student groups, you can view a list of your groups in Course Groups. Click the group name to view the group homepage. You can view recent assignment feedback in Recent Feedback. Click the assignment name and view feedback in the Submission Details page. You may be able to view your course grades by clicking the Grades link in Course Navigation. You can also access the Course Grades page from the Course Card and Recent Activity dashboard. Click the View Grades button and click the course name. The Grades page displays your current course grade and a clickable list of all the course's graded assignments and assignment details. You've now completed this Canvas overview video for students. For additional information on this or any other topic about Canvas, please visit guides.canvaslms.com. You can also ask questions and engage with other Canvas users by visiting community.canvaslms.com.